28 million Americans use tanning facilities. 2.3 million of those are under the age of 18. A dramatic number. Sadly, 12,000 people will die of skin cancer every year, and we are diagnosing it in younger people, and it is a risk for all the people who have been using tanning facilities. We used to think about skin cancers being only in older men, and that women and certainly young people were not at risk. What's happened um, is that the time frame has shifted dramatically. Melanoma now being the most frequent cancer in the age group of 25 to 29 year olds. And it is the second most common tumor in that younger age group of the 15 to 25 year olds. We know that there's a 75% increase in the incidence of skin cancer for those people who use tanning beds and we know that every exposure increases that risk so that every time you go to that tanning booth, your risk increases. There's now been good evidence published in the New England Journal of Medicine that the earlier you start using these devices, the greater your chance of becoming addicted to tanning. That addiction is real and it's not just that you like lying there or the warmth feels good. Much as runners get something of a runner's high when they exercise, and we know it's related to endorphins, we also now know that there's a small endorphin peak after people tan. And so it truly is a real sort of addiction in the way that runners ad are addicted to running. They get that feel-good feeling. And they've done that study looking at it and seeing that they get the feeling not when they use sham bulbs, but when they use the real bulbs.